appetizers are down. Let's try this burger. So this is called a mayo burger. It's like double everything. Mm -hmm. Good morning, guys. You know when they say it's a good day to have a good day? Today's one of those days. Slept good, feel good, the weather's good. Check this out. Man, Miami weather, I don't wanna leave. Shoulders day today. And then we're off to Surfside. Surfside's a fancy part of town, obviously, right on the water. Gonna eat some chicken. Shoulders, arms, protein. Sounds like a good day. And the weather's good. So, let's go. Today's gonna be a good day. This weather. And I'm gonna miss Florida, that's for sure. But I wanna enjoy it while I'm here, guys. Time to train. I was definitely feeling good today. We started with dumbbell lateral side raises for sets of 15. After we got the blood pumping, we moved on to dumbbell shoulder press. And I never do dumbbells for more than 10 reps. But today it was sets of 12. Then we moved on to some cable upright rows, one of my favorite exercises. And then after these three sets of 20 rear delt flies, my shoulders were cooked. So I took it upon myself to take it easy on the arms department today. Cable push downs for sets of 20 and dumbbell curls for the same. Three sets of 20. All right guys, gym is done. Now let me tell you something, if you're in a good mood, don't go to 24 hour fitness in Miami gardens. It's gotta be the worst gym I think I've been to yet on this trip. I thought LA was bad. The people, wow, so rude. No one knows how to train. They're using so many pieces of equipment and they just come up to you and be like, I'm using that, like move. Or your bag is there, your bench is there, your towel is there. They just take your stuff, your weights and whatever else, or just come sit on your bench. Like they are so rude, no gym etiquette. Look, I'm not gonna let it ruin my mood. I'm going to Surfside, I'm gonna eat some chicken, I'm gonna get some gains. I trained, I'm, look, I'm blessed, man, I'm in Miami. Word to the wise, stay away from 24 hour fitness Miami gardens. There's like a pickup truck behind me, it's bright pink. With what I'm gonna guess is a crazy sound system. Yeah, oh that's bad. I love Miami, man. With weather this good, how could you be in a bad mood? The water was just as blue as the sky. And the best part, there's no traffic. Surfside, here we come, let's eat. All right, guys, we've made it. We're at roast. Let's have some chicken, man. I'm starving. Surfside, this place is beautiful. Look at the weather. Palm trees everywhere. But uh, we're at roast flame rotisserie tonight. Let's do this, guys. Let's go inside. Whilst this place is known for their rotisserie chicken, they were definitely serving me up a feast tonight. Appetizers like tacos, chicken wings, even their cornflake chicken. Lots of side dishes, even some burgers. And once the chicken came out, I was ready. Hey guys, what's going on? James here, Jay Webby County. Tonight we're at Roast Flame Rotisserie, your kosher chicken shop in Surfside, Miami. Guys, I've got a whole spread tonight. I've got their signature flame grilled chicken. I got appetizers, I got tacos, I got wings, I got burgers, even sweet potato fries. Guys, I'm gonna smash this, I'm gonna enjoy it. A kosher meal. Interesting, let's do this, guys. All right, three, two, one, let's go. Cornflake chicken. Mm -hmm. I definitely have to start with this chicken. It sounded so interesting. These house sauces are delicious. And man, it was delicious. Tender on the inside and the cornflakes added some crunch. Dipped in the house-made sauce and it was next level. This meal was off to a great start. The wings are cooked the same as the rotisserie chicken, man. This is delicious. Not even 90 seconds down, and we're onto these jumbo chicken wings. Hello. <laughs> I've never seen chicken being cooked this way before. Roasted in a rotisserie with flames and water. The chicken was so moist, but had the flame grilled goodness. How are you, buddy? I'm not that scary, am I? Come on. Maybe I am. I think that kid was enjoying the show. Either that, or he just wanted an excuse to run amok. All right, 
beef tacos. These things are loaded, man. Time for these tacos, and man, these were loaded. Beef tacos paired with chicken wings and fried chicken. Can you get a better appetizer? Well, judging by it's only been five minutes and the appetizers are gone, I don't think so. All right, appetizers are down. Let's try this burger. So it's got a mayo burger. It's like double everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this was the largest burger on the menu. Double everything. That's why I chose it. What's your name? James. Hey. Jay Webby can eat. Have a great night, thank you. I'm not gonna lie, I was starting to feel like a celebrity. So many people waving at me, so many people asking my name. I just think they were astounded at the amount of food that was in front of me. But nonetheless, this was going down so good. Can you ever have a bad time with double beef and fries? I think because the restaurant makes their own salts and seasonings, it was making these fries extra good. All right, Maya burger going down. Mm. And I couldn't wait to get into the schnitzel burger. Chicken schnitzel burger. So crispy, but so tender on the inside. Man, these fries are so crispy. With a very soft bun, this was gonna go down easily. You could tell the oil was fresh and so hot. Everything came out so crisp. And when it comes to fries, who doesn't love over-seasoned crispy fries? Definitely don't try this at home. Eat your vegetables. Haha, <laughs> ha, they're on to me. All right, 12 and a half minutes down, we're just cleaning up a few of the fries. Until we move on to some healthy vegetables. Grilled corn. All right. Flame grilled corn. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I love corn. I don't feel like it's even a vegetable when it's grilled and covered in salt. And this corn was going down. It was actually a really nice flavor and texture change. Side of rice. I think I'm doing all right. I think it's all right. Look, I think I'm eating for about 10 people. Two days? Probably tomorrow night. Maybe this time tomorrow. Where? Sydney, Australia. Hey, you, good pick. Uh, you're a legend. Have a great night, sir. You too. I just had to get through a couple more sides before I could take on the main event. There were so many nice people out giving me waves and saying hello, but that man, he was a true gentleman. And he even lived in Australia. What a legend. It's a big chicken, man. But back to business, guys. We're 15 and a half minutes down. This is why we're here. The roast chicken. Let's do it. Cool. This thing's not small either. And the food is starting to get cold, so I best get a move on. A few handfuls of sweet potato fries to warm up, and let's dive headfirst into this chicken. And as I picked it up, I realized how big it was. This thing is huge. But from the first bite, I knew I had this in the bag. This chicken was so juicy and tender, it was gonna go down a treat. And I was going to enjoy this chicken the only way I know how by smashing it. I pulled it apart so I could clean the bones thoroughly. I didn't want to leave any chicken behind. And to be honest, it was so juicy and tender, it was falling off the bone. So it made eating this chicken so easy. So I made sure to thoroughly clean the bones and get into these sweet potato fries as well. Oh, all 
right. Hey, have a guys. 20 minutes, 27. Now, and that was a meal for at least ooh, five or six people. Oh man, that's roast flame rotisserie. I'm at Surfside, guys, and it's a kosher chicken shop. So come and check it out, guys. That's roast flame rotisserie, Surfside. <coughs> oh. Until we eat again, guys, definitely won't be until tomorrow.